Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the mid-journey updates from March. V7 is in the final testing stages and there's every chance that it could be released right after I publish this video. No, really, as of last week's office hours, the guides and mods were testing V7, the Omni reference feature was being integrated, and they said they're aiming for a release this week. So let's talk briefly about what to expect. Initially, V7 will launch as an alpha model, so there will be some short-term limitations as they continue to make changes and updates to it during the first few weeks, after which it will be switched over to the default model. The flagship feature of the model will be the new Omni reference feature, which they've confirmed works with logos, human and non-human characters and objects. In theory, it should work with things like scenes, but we'll see. They've stated that both prompt adherence and image coherence are improved in V7. The team compiled a big list of prompts from the community that V6 struggles with, and they say that V7 handles on average about 70% of them now. V7 is expected to be faster than V6, so your jobs will run more quickly. That reminds me, the Relaxathon is expected to end when V7 is released, so relax mode jobs will go back to running more slowly compared to fast mode. V7 will use V6 upscalers and V6 inpainting at first, with V7 versions coming later. Some features like weird, quality, tile, and multi-prompting might not be available right away, but should come within a few weeks after release. Your V6 personalization, SREF, and mood board codes are all expected to work with V7. I'm really looking forward to testing all that V7 has to offer, and I will be sharing in-depth results on my channel, so keep an eye out for that. A new smart selection tool was recently added to the full editor, and there is a chance it will be coming soon to the basic editor as well. To use it, go over here to select, click an area in your image, then remove to remove the selected area or isolate to remove everything except the selected area. You can select multiple areas by clicking multiple places on your image. To remove a selection, hold down the shift key. If you wanna remove an entire pre-selected region, click on the same spot where the plus sign appears, you'll see a little hand icon. Clicking elsewhere in the selected region may only remove part of it. And if you remove too much, you can always click undo. After you've removed or isolated the regions that you want, feel free to change your canvas size and zoom level. Then type your prompt up here and Midjourney will use your prompt along with the existing content of your image to fill in the empty space. The team is planning for another editor update this week, which means we might be getting the new layers feature, as well as smart selection in the basic editor. And they've also mentioned that they're planning to add retexture to the main workflow, which would make it accessible to everyone. This would be really exciting for everyone who does not have access to the full editor, which is currently the only place that you can use retexture. I have videos on both the basic editor and the full editor if you'd like to learn more about some of the cool things that you can do with them. Major video model training runs are scheduled to start the first week of April. There was a recent survey posted on Midjourney's Discord that gave the team a good understanding of what the community wants in terms of pricing and features for video generation. The goal is still to make video accessible across all subscription plans, and it should be available on both the website and Discord. 3D development will resume after the V7 release. The initial goal of 3D is to let us move the camera around in an image and then render out the scene from different angles. I haven't talked about Patchwork in a while. This is Midjourney's storytelling slash world building tool. Go to patchwork.midjourney.com and you'll see a new login interface that lets you use either Google or Discord to log in. Once you log in, you'll see a list of worlds with yours at the top, and then you can scroll down to visit other worlds that people have made accessible. Once you click into a world, there's also a new travel button that takes you back to this page, making it easier to travel between worlds. Patchwork is in research mode. There's a lot of ongoing development this year, including creating threads for rapid story sequence building, which I think would be a great addition. To learn the basics of Patchwork, be sure to check out this demo video on my channel. Lastly, I've started sharing some additional mid-journey and behind the scenes related videos over on Patreon. I'm really thankful to everyone who has joined a free or paid tier. It's one of the best ways to support this channel. And if you're into SREF codes, my entire 400 plus curated SREF code collection comes as a freebie with some paid tiers, so you'll wanna check that out. That's it for the March Roundup. If you found this update helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, all the things. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.